The American Nazi movement originated in 1933 when Rudolf Hess, the Nazi deputy Führer, authorized Heinz Spank Noble to establish an American Nazi organization. This initial group was known as Friends of New Germany, FONG. Fong used forceful tactics to persuade the German-language newspaper, the Staatszeitung, to publish pro-Nazi articles. They also produced propaganda to undermine the Jewish boycott of German goods, which began in 1933 as a protest against Nazi anti-Semitism. Samuel Dickstein, chairman of the Committee of Naturalization and Immigration, noticed a connection between the rise of anti-Semitism and the influx of foreign individuals, both legally and illegally, into the United States. He launched an investigation into Nazi and other fascist groups. Dick Stein discovered that Fong was a branch of Adolf Hitler's Nazi party in the U.S., leading to Rudolf Hess ordering its dissolution in December 1935. In March 1936, the German-American Bund was established, with Fritz Kuhn, a German-born American citizen, as its leader. The Bund's national headquarters were located in Manhattan. They organized Nazi summer training camps, held rallies, and launched attacks on the Franklin D. Roosevelt administration, Jewish groups, communism, trade unions, and the boycotts of German goods. The Bund even claimed that George Washington, the first U.S. president, was the first fascist who did not believe in democracy. In 1938, Congress passed the Foreign Agents Registration Act, which mandated that foreign agents register with the State Department. To appease the U.S., the Nazi government decreed on March 1, 1938, that no German nationals could be members of the Bund and that the organization could not use Nazi emblems. On February 20, 1939, a massive Bund rally took place at Madison Square Garden, drawing a crowd of 20,000 people. During the event, Kuhn made anti-Semitic allegations against Roosevelt, referring to him as Frank D. Rosenfeld and mocking his new deal as the Jew deal. In 1939, a New York tax investigation uncovered that Kuhn had embezzled $14,000 from the Bund. He was convicted of tax evasion and embezzlement, receiving a prison sentence of up to five years. While in prison, Kuhn's citizenship was revoked. Upon his release on June 21, 1943, Kuhn was arrested as an enemy alien and interned by the federal government in Crystal City, Texas. He was eventually deported after World War II ended. The American Nazi Party, ANP, was founded by George Lincoln Rockwell in 1960. In an effort to gain legitimacy, Rockwell attempted to moderate the party's rhetoric and replace the rally cry of Sig Heil with White Power. He also limited the public display of the swastika and entered candidates in local elections. On January 1, 1967, Rockwell renamed the ANP the National Socialist White People's Party. However, before he could fully implement these party reforms, Rockwell was assassinated by a former member named John Patler. Seven years after Rockwell's assassination, the National Socialist American Workers' Freedom Movement was established in 1974. Today, this group is classified as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. As of May 2011, the New York Times reported that the organization had approximately 400 members across 32 states. Thank you.